Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Tiki, and in this video, we're going to learn about PHP classes and objects. First of all, let's review the syntax of classes and objects real quick. So we define the class using the class keyword followed by the class name. And inside the curly brackets, we have properties and methods of the class. So properties is just another word for variables. And uh, that's what we call uh, properties is what we call variables inside the class. And methods is what we call functions inside the class. So you can think of a class as just a collection of properties and methods. And that's all it is. And if we wanted to access our property inside the class, we would use a keyword this followed by the object operator. <laughs> operator, also known as a dart. I'll, I'm just going to call that a dart from now on. And you do the same thing if, we, if you wanted to access the method name as well. Now, outside the class, we actually instantiate the object using the new keyword followed by our class name. And at this point, when we do this, the object of the class has been instantiated. And that means the object is going to inherit or uh, basically obtain all the methods and properties of that class. So we can use the Dart operator again or all the or the object operator to access all those properties and methods with the object. Okay, so let's move on and uh, let's uh, let me define a simple class called uh, game class game curly brackets. Now inside the class, I'm going to define a bunch of properties and uh, just one method. So first of all, let's every game is going to have a price, every game is going to have a name, every game is going to have a photo or cover picture. And I'm also going to define a variable named directory or dir, dir and I'm going to specify default value where uh, and this is this is the directory where all the uh, game pictures are going to be located at. Okay, so at this point we have a valid class. Let's just define another function or not a function, a method. And this method is going to print game information to the screen. So right now at this point it doesn't really do anything, but let me just show you how to um, instantiate the object. So if I had if I had a game. Uh, variable and I said new game at this point out the game would become a game variable would become an object of the game class game is the object type of game class and uh, I can start setting uh, some of these properties to the actual game so I can say something like game object operator name equals Bioshock infinite game dart price equals fourteen ninety nine game dart photo equals and this is the the JPEG uh, name of the photo which is inside that games folder and so uh, here I'm, I'm just giving you an example of how you would set these uh, properties outside the class for the actual object. So inside the print function I can now say echo this name um, echo this price and echo this uh, photo actually this directory first and then this photo okay at this point let's see what happens here if I call that method outside the class game dart print game should output some information yeah okay so it's printing out all that information but let me just define a constant that I usually define called br and it's just going to have a BR HTML tag in it. Now, for the constants, it's a little different. Uh, we don't use the this keyword and a dart object operator. Instead, we do this. We do 
self and then double colon and then the constant name. So this is just a different way to access uh, the constants uh, within the class. Okay, so, oh, okay, concatenate. Okay, so now you can clearly see how all those uh, properties, uh, values that I've set outside of the class are being printed out uh, within this function that I also called outside the class uh, using our object named game. Okay, so that's that's how that works. Uh, the, this is uh, classes and objects. Now, uh, if we wanted to, let's see. Well, first of all, let's format this a little bit better. And uh, I've already have this code prepared here. So I'm just gonna paste that. And um, okay, so what's happening here is I, I just uh, <clears throat> pretty much use the same thing, but as you can see, uh, if we are going to be accessing uh, property names, if we're gonna be using properties inside double quotes, we gotta use the curly brackets. So otherwise you have to use concatenation. And here for the image, I'm first accessing the directory, which is the games here. And then I'm following that by the photo, which is uh, Bioshock dash uh, Bioshock dash infinite dot JPEG and then makes up the directory name and also followed by uh, follow that by the constant and at the end I have a dollar sign and the price of the game and and the div with the ending div tag and that prints out our first game so that's a pretty cool way to just uh, access uh, uh, the reason I, I wanted to show you this uh, is because uh, I just want you to understand that uh, class works as a template and outside of the template we have the actual object which is like the real thing in, in the real world. So if the game is a template then Bioshock is the actual game that lives inside the real world that people can actually, people can actually play that has a name, price and photo and all that good stuff. Alright so um, if we kept going here and uh, created another game, for example, let's do The Witcher 3. All we're doing is we're just using the same object name, but we're setting different values for uh, our new game now. Uh, let's see. Game photo equals The Witcher. 3.jpg is where the image is located and then uh, use the same method to print out new information and our new game is being printed out to the screen as well. So all I did here, uh, as you can see, we did have to in instantiate the new object. We use the same game object, we just change the property names to new values and then uh, we call the print game function to print all that good stuff back to the screen. Now, one last thing that I wanted to show you guys is uh, is what what's called a setter function. So, we can keep going and just uh, create different values for uh, for our new games, but we can also shorten this code by uh, setting all these variables basically automatically. So, let me show you uh, an example of that. Public function set game, and then the game is gonna take uh, this function set game is gonna take in three arguments name price and photo and uh, I'm gonna set all these uh, properties inside this function by using this and object operator and setting them to the actual to the actual values provided so this way is just gonna shorten our code watch this if I now do a game and then set game so use that method and I set the new game name to overwatch price is gonna be forty four ninety nine and the image is gonna be overwatch that JPEG so now <clears throat> what it does is calls this method set game and then it sets all these properties for us so we don't have to do this outside of the object 
So you can see how you can do the setting inside the class itself as well as outside. So it's it's just like a different way of uh, setting your properties uh, within the class as well as outside the class. And then if we print the game now, it's printing our game, Overwatch, and uh, all of our games are being printed out. So that's it for this video on PHP classes and objects. If you guys found it useful, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.